Quickly, Brianna Lyston of LSU. Brianna Lyston, LSU. Favor O'Philly Tiger Olympians. Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXD Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Trackies, Brianna Dea, Brianna Reach, Brianna has arrived. Brianna has dropped a phenomenal time in that women's 100 meter clash with Favor Ophelia. Now, in my opinion, leading into the race, it was definitely between Brianna Liston and also Favor Ophelia with Mackenzie Long someplace there. And Trackies, that is pretty much how the race panned out. A fantastic fantastic run by the girls now walking away with the win was favor of Ely running 10.85 seconds Brianna Liston 10.87 seconds and Mackenzie Long 10.89 seconds now unfortunately track is the wind was above the allowable it was a positive 2.5 meters per second wind so it means it's not a legal time but still a fantastic run when we break down that time in terms of the wind if we're going to talk about dead wind that was a 10.99 seconds still sub 11 and if we're supposed to give her the maximum wind which doesn't really take much off it it was a 10.89 seconds run from brianna liston wow 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 what me did tell him to say please remind me trackies what me did tell him to say me tell him to say brianna liston has arrived i told y'all from before two years ago brianna liston was a sub 11 runner it didn't happen on paper it wasn't her time for it to happen on paper unfortunately because she was struggling with some injuries last year also wasn't her time she had to wait she had to sit out and she had to bide her time and come back as a stronger athlete she had to build up her little frame she's a very slim athlete slight you would say but yeah she definitely had to build up that strength and 2024 is definitely her year i called it i said look here this year brianna liston is gonna come out and do something phenomenal and it's going to shock the world now we've seen her on the back of that 7.03 second performance and we're like okay we don't know city girl bad over 200 meters so there's no way her 100 meters in any way shape or form is not going to be epic and she comes out her first outdoor race of the season and runs at 10.87 seconds oh my gosh i am absolutely over the moon i'm sure y'all can tell in my voice the races and performances this weekend are literally having me go crazy and excited the season is going to be mouth watering the clashes are going to be mouth watering but most importantly the jamaica national trials is going to be one for the record books uh, oh did i say slow time did i go run no slow time no run uh, oh did i say i only the big tree in the conversation no such thing brianna listen is going to be in the conversation remember her quote said from up in the year from she was running the indoors that brianna liston will be in the conversation for the 100 meters i was flabbergasted when you take into consideration the likes of shelly and fraser price elaine thompson here and sharika jackson i was flabbergasted when he said it but brianna liston slapped us over the head with a 703 and i said look here brianna liston is ready brianna liston is going to do something crazy and brianna liston has started her road to what will be at epic senior trials come whenever it is in june i suppose jamaica house i go bond down and i'm absolutely loving it brianna liston storms out now this was a very very close race as you can see between herself and favor of Ely, as well as the third athlete that i did have you know placing in this race mackenzie long now track is i will not lie you know what i mean i did say that i had brianna liston taking the win but when you look at a 1085 to a 1087 to a 1089 this was literally down to the wire this was literally a dip is a dip why brianna liston lose this area yeah i am telling you so i'm excited even more so for the races to come especially when she gets more 200 meters under her legs i am excited to see what this 100 meters is going to become unfortunately as it stands right now this 100 meter time is still not legal so she's still not a legal sub 11 athlete but i'm telling you the next time she steps out on a track that gives her a positive wind or even a negative wind it doesn't matter we are going to see 
her shatter her personal best i had her personal best going unfortunately it didn't go again the wind is not legal but take into consideration if you gave her the maximum wind and the maximum wind would have been at 10.89 seconds then no questions asked sabrina liston is already at 10 eight sprinter just the first race in the season the first race in the season and she shot off 1108 i was she gonna get to by the time trials run roll that 10 seven days look Looking more real and real as I said it. Any it, guys, do you remember my 10-7 video? Do you remember me telling you all that Brianna Liston is going to come out and run 10-7? Wanna believe me now? Wanna believe me now? Please don't shy away and tell me in the comment section if wanna believe say Brianna Liston by season done. And I mean by you know the collegiate season has ended, and by the time she gets into the Jamaica trials section of her season, she's going to be a 10-7 athlete want to say in the comment section i'm dying to hear what y'all have to say now also based on this run favor of Healy would have broken her personal best as well unfortunately again the wind was above the allowable mckenzie long would have also shattered her personal best as well unfortunately again the wind was above the allowable but fantastic running from these ladies and i'm excited to see what will happen from here on and now it's your turn chakis it's your turn to sound off in the comment section below brianna liston 10.87 seconds which is 10.89 seconds if you give her the maximum wind one of you say sound off in the comment section should everybody be fretting should all the local jamaica seniors be on their tippy toes high heels on my tippies brianna liston has them on their tippies at this particular point should they be on their tippies should they be concerned and who should be concerned should the big three be concerned should shelly be concerned should elaine be concerned should sharika be concerned let me know your thoughts what about the other athletes as well we have the likes of a natasha marson a sasha lee forbes a kemba nelson we have a brianna williams we have even a kevona davis plus others that i did not mention that will be coming not to mention the twins that so far this season look like they're also ready to do something phenomenal this year. Track is it's the Olympic year. Everybody means business and Brianna Liston herself also means business. Her coach called it. Her coach said she will be vying for a spot on the 100 meter team to the Olympic Games. And this first race solidifies that for me without a shadow of adult i did think it myself but seeing the first race track is i am ecstatic to see what will happen at our national championships and don't get me started with the 200 meters that is a whole other story but with that said i am fully 100 percent excited to see what will go down and i'm dying to hear all of y'all's comments as well in the sub in the comment section below one of you said about this amazing run from Brianna Liston, definitely holding her own. And I did think, again, as I said, the race was so close. So at this particular point, I don't feel ashamed because I did call her for the win. She didn't win, she came second, but still a fantastic performance. Just pretty much outdipped by favor of Feely. Let me know your thoughts. Like the video, of course, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.